Like, I'm pissed what they did shut us all down. You know? We should have connected. All the world's resources should have already been behind us, but... Nope. They thought they'd pull off a fake pandemic. And that's what they did. They just want to go the other direction, mind their own business, and, you know, I don't answer questions, especially not for free. Like, I'm not getting paid to give out information to anybody. What's your name, yeah. date of birth? Like, I don't answer questions. I don't owe you anything. Who the fuck are you? Like, I'm not a part of your gang. <laughs> like, you're in my world. Sorry. That's how... It's very difficult. I hope they never pull me over, because I'm done playing games with these retards. Like, I shout about it online. I have nowhere else to go. I tried to give this message peacefully and nicely, and now it's like they blocked us. So this shit just flies out of my mouth, I, and I, I can't take stop the it. message. I can... Take the message <laughs> and... Uh, respond to it internally and express it in beautiful things yeah I'm not trying to be a disruptor it's just the truth I have a truth sense I don't have a lie sense I'm not a phonetic inverted pirate I don't speak in a forked tongue I'm like talking to my creator right now like I'm yep. you know possessed with the spirit of like the mother goddess man I'm hold standing here holding the spirit of destiny blood thick with Mark Braun like he's the one that showed me how to pull the sword from the stone with the philosopher's stone which is your own blood and like I showed you I pulled the Excalibur right out of the center hole with my blood so yeah I don't know they got a legal problem when it comes to, to me I just like I don't know I'm not out trying to cause trouble but I just I go wherever I want I don't my license got suspended 10 years ago I just get in my van and drive man I don't care <laughs> I don't I don't care <laughs> I just I don't know <coughs> Sure they they're, not, they're not gonna want me in their court. They're not they're not gonna wanna hear from me. They are not Alright. What up, Blood Family? We in the YouTube, in the Ethernet, on Black Mirrors, speaking to each other about the truth and what's real. So you're yeah. lost at sea and you're at sea because we all live on an island. There's no land that doesn't have ocean around it that we know of, of this simulator. So it's, uh, you're living in a country, so it's like country, like they're pushing the mothers to absolute full stress and fear. It's heaven on earth here when you put your blood up. Absolutely, if you don't comply to the rules and you go against their restrictions, they're going to be in your life. I've, I had uh, the social services in uh, our lives for, and almost wrecked it because I took my kid out of a public school situation and, and told them that I was going to homeschool them. So they sent the social services here and um, threatened to take my child away from us. That's what happened to me too, and it happened through the schooling. It happened with the teacher. She came to my house uh, unannounced one morning, and she showed up there, and uh, she pretty much made her own entry into my home early one early yeah. morning. And uh, they got they got mm -hmm. my kids because of it. She she had the police show up to my house. They woke me up in my sleep in my bedroom. They slammed me down on my bed. They, uh, you know, they ended up arresting me for it. Like two, two weeks later, with a warrant, they showed up with a warrant to arrest me. So yeah, you know, I know it's real. I know it's uh, these people are um, um, trafficking the children, and they will do anything. The court will do anything to make sure that uh, that that'll be um, be what they get. It's so sick and disgusting that they have to do that. And they have no right on our property. Our property is our body, so the whole world is also property. our body. We the came into it. Our you know, you're my property. Nobody can make my children. I made my children. Yeah. You know, with my seed and my DNA, <laughs> and uh, that's my property. And they took my property from me, and they still to this day have my property. They won't. They won't restore my property, even though I wrote to the courts. I wrote them to restore my property, and they still refuse to give me my property back. Exactly. How old, how old are your kids? 
my children, I have a 12 year old daughter. I have a eight, eight year old daughter and I have a 11 year old son. And I also have a son I don't know because they stole from him. They stole, they stole him from me like two years ago. They stole my son from me. I haven't, never got to meet him, never got to hold him. I got to see him. Yeah. And he's, God, gonna, he's, gonna hold me. he's in a home right now. The child's in a home. I never got to see him or be with him. And they pretty much went against their guidelines because I had them in a different state so that they wouldn't come and take the child, but they still ended up doing it anyway. They went against their... For, their um, for the people on here um, browsing through a bunch of creepy pasta videos on YouTube and you come across the Ronald McDonald one and you might come across, say, this video, um, just know that the scary places they put children in these homes are really not safe places to be. They're haunted and they've they've done they're spells on it. Blood into the food. Yeah. They're taking the missing children and they're putting the blood into the food and they're feeding it back to the public and the public are eating their own children. It's um, well known, you know, it's well known that uh, the missing children is being eaten by everyday people. Going to McDonald's, going to your fast food restaurants is lined up every day, 24/7. Serves three million billion people served daily. You know, Abe Finkelstein spoke about that. Told the world that they're putting human meat in the food because we're at war and they hate us and they want the white man to eat their own children and everybody's allowed themselves to become these debt slaves with their birth bonds. Now they're trapped in hell because they're ruled by these parasitic entities and they're psychopaths that have control of all the resources, financial resources, physical resources. They own everything, including you. Yeah. And they summons you to court because you're dead. It's a summons. It's black magic or whatever magic they call it low level magic where they're hiding the truth in plain sight and literally getting everybody to give up their own divinity through contracts that they agreed to so it's all coming undone people are silent sovereign consent. everybody is silent you know there's silence is their consent and these people are getting away with it because everybody's silent about this matter yeah, we have to take back our sovereignty, take back our divinity, and that's where blood over intent and the 144,000 living souls are the next level of sovereignty, because sovereignty is based upon universal law, and universal law is that this universe responds to your blood, sweat, and tears equity. That will not harm any living being that is conscious of emotion to as much as little harm as I can possibly attain in this life and you know if if there's someone strong on that and there it runs through their veins because they've been practicing that meditation for years and it's working with them they know it's they know it's happy and joyful yeah, it's interesting times, man. We're literally trapped in hell. You know, that's why everybody says, hello, how's your health? Help. There's Helios above our head, you know? Yeah, there's no help for the children they're kidnapping until...